All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Fogelson's YouTube channel. This is Mr. Fogelson. Practice what you preach, practice what you teach. All right, game frame video number five. All right, this is cool. We're going to go ahead and get into a little bit more of the meat of the matter. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, insert my SD micro adapter with my micro disc from the game frame in it, and then let's go ahead and put it in there. And you'll notice that, uh, perfect, that the uh, window pops up and uh, you can do autoplay or open it up in your computer. Make sure that you open the removable disk. There we go. Now keep this 007 system folder. That's like your foundation game frame folder. That's really important to keep. You'll notice there's all sorts of files that are really important in regards to the whole setup of your game frame. Please do not delete your 00 system file. Otherwise, you'll have to go and find it from your eBoys folder, which I hopefully you saved to an external hard drive or another SD card. Um, as well. Okay. Um, keeping that in mind, uh, we have our system folder there, and I'm going to go ahead and right click and make a new, new folder. Okay. It's really important to realize that when you are making new folders, that if it doesn't allow you to make a new folder, that means that your SD adapter is locked. There is a little silver lever there that you go from lock to unlock on the actual SD adapter card. I forgot to show you. Maybe I'll show you when I plug in for the next Game Frame videos. But just keep in mind, you might want to jiggle it just a little bit. And we're going to jiggle it just a little bit from lock to unlock a couple times to get that unlock and then put it in your computer and then it'll allow you to make that new folder otherwise it's locked and it just doesn't want you to do anything to it. Alright, now that I have my new folder, I'm going to go ahead and title it what I normally do, and this is really important, is that I title it via name so I know who's or which student's uh, folder it is. So there's some things to keep in mind when you are labeling your folder. So I'm going to do a capital, my first name, you call me Mr. F, <laughs> I'm a teacher. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and hold the shift key and underscore. Please do not put any spaces, please do not hit the space bar and anytime you label your folders, okay? Really important. So I did an underscore there, and I'm just going to put the first three le uh, letters of my last name. For some reason, I found a bug where if you put in anything, really long names, uh, it just doesn't save or work okay so keep in mind that like for example if it was like Kevin Ann I would just put Kevin okay then an underscore and then the first three letters of my last name of Fogelson okay that way we can avoid any bugs and you won't get bugged on the fact that it's not working in your game frame so that's how I'm gonna go ahead and label my folder here okay so keep that in mind and the next we're gonna focus on is an awesome application I call it uh, it's on the internet here it's just loaded loaded up um, it's basically what you could do is you could just type in pixel toolbox, okay, notice how it just shows up there, and pixel toolbox, and there it is, and it shows this page, okay, so pixel toolbox 1.1 version, it's for the Windows, just a heads up, I believe they don't have a Mac version, you have, can use Pixlr, that's fine for Mac, um, but right now we're focusing on the Windows, maybe I'll show another video for Macs, but this is an awesome program. Download, uh, make sure you get parents permission first, uh, invisible permission slip. Uh, if it's not your computer, um, keep that in mind. Um, and it's really kind of a nice program. Um, we're using this for educational purposes, so it's really kind of a nice um, in regards to use for the class. So I'm just going to go ahead, and I already downloaded it. It's minimized, and the pixel toolbox actual icon looks like a rainbow cube. Really kind of cool. I'm going to double click on that. And just to kind of get us set up, you're going to make sure that you're on a 16 by 16, really important. Okay, keep that in mind. We're working with a 16 by 16. And you'll notice it says Windows 8-bit, 256 colors palette. We're going to make sure that's the automatic one that it picks. Make sure you leave it at that. Now, keep in mind it is, says Windows 8-bit. We are going to have to change it. I'll get that get to that later to make it a 24-bit. But I'm going to go ahead and click Start. And there's my uh, grid. And my next videos will show you how to work with Pixel Toolbox and bring it to the game frame. Awesome. Have a good day, Mr. F says. All right.